Hey everybody, all right. This is a very impromptu photo shoot. Just got off work and I said, what the heck, I'm gonna grab my camera. I've had not had much of a chance to play with my new Canon RF 100-500. It's sunset, so I drove out here into the desert. I'm not too far away from the road, so you may hear some car noise. I'm gonna head out and see what kind of photos I can get. Let's see what happens. So probably some of the easiest subjects to get tonight are going to be birds, maybe rabbits, might see a coyote, we'll see. The whole idea here is just to try and build up a little bit of experience with this new lens so I have a better idea of how to use it so when I get to those locations where I can get some really incredible photography that I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to lie, the light's not too bad out here tonight. We have a little bit of clouds out on the horizon. But other than that, pretty much clear sky. I've got maybe 15 minutes till sunset. This is going to be a real quick photo shoot. The light is exactly what I was hoping for. Low angled, golden, and bright enough to backlight my subjects. So what I'm doing right now is I am trying to find some birds or something I can really zoom in on. But I'm also keeping an eye on the swirl cactuses between me and the sun. Because really zooming in, it's really adding layers. I've got some bokeh from some plants in the foreground. Then I've got the cacti, the sororos that kind of, they glow when the sun's passing through their needles. And then I've got a very warm background. So I may get a few good landscapes out of this evening as well. Something I've always known about wildlife photography, one of the reasons why I've really never been able to indulge in it, is that you've got to be really patient. Because as I'm walking, the birds fly away, the animals leave. So what you need to do is, is just kind of sit still for a while and let them come back to you. But unfortunately, as you can tell as I'm holding my hand up to block the sun, I don't have a whole lot of time out here. I can hear them all around me. Just can't see him. As I continue to look for the desert wildlife, I kept an eye on the horizon, carefully take a note of how much sunlight I had left. That desert sun is bright. Well, I've got my ISO set to a thousand. Now, normally I don't keep it that high, but you are working with a slower lens here. I am working with a slower lens here because especially when I'm extended all the way to 500, it's f7.1. So I need that faster ISO if I'm going to capture any movement, any animals moving. So one thing I'm trying to learn is to not be afraid of having a higher ISO. There are plenty of tools that you can use to get rid of any noise. You want to make sure that you have enough sufficient light going into the camera that you're not starving it of light because when you starve it of light that is when you start getting a lot of grain in your images when it comes to higher iso well one thing i am finding are gnats zooming in on this photo i can see the grain that you get when you're using a high iso i'm going to utilize the ai denoise feature of lightroom it takes a few moments for your image data to be sent to Adobe. Lightroom will receive a new DNG file that has passed through the AI. Looking at this gives me the confidence that I need to shoot at a higher ISO value to help freeze the action in these low light conditions.
So right now I'm just kind of hanging out in this spot. I think I'm just down to just a few minutes of light. Oh, right there, we got something on the ground. Looks like quails. I'm experimenting with the 4K video that I can take. Being able to shoot video from a distance and bring subjects up close and personal will be a welcome addition to my videography. Hmm. Well, something spooked him. It wasn't me. So I know what else is out here. Unfortunately, these images are not as sharp as what I had hoped. I'm continuing to experiment with this lens so I can get the settings right to create amazing photos. Well, that's the last of the sunlight. So about time for me to start heading back over to the Jeep. Thank you everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Check out my bonus content on patreon.com forward slash EWJ. Y'all enjoy your photography, enjoy your travels and take care.